Hey guys, Mike here from Epic Tech 360. Today we're going to be doing a different kind of video, and basically what that is all about is Windows 7 widgets. I'm basically going to go over a few widgets from Windows 7 that are very, very useful, and I usually only use three or four sometimes. So let's get started. So the first widget that I highly recommend um, is the CPU usage. Uh, it's called All CPU Meter, and it shows the individual usage of each core. So I have an i5 2500K, um, and it's using core one. It's only using six percent. It, it basically breaks down everything, and it's fairly, fairly cool. Um, actually, and then if you double click right here on this little, um, this little grid. It will bring up Task Manager, which shows you even more. Um, not really, it doesn't even really show you that mo that much more, but it shows you in a larger image. Now, the next widget that I also highly recommend is Network Meter. Now, this what it basically does is it helps you, shows you down and up speeds. And just to tell you guys, I always have my um, opacity on 20%, just because I think it's nicer not to have them blaring out like if I have the CPU meter. It's just too it's too much there and I just don't like it that much. I like to have everything um, kind of off to the side and when I need it, look at that, I just put my mouse over it and it'll, it'll highlight up. So network meter basically shows you your up, your down speeds. It also has a small little grid, which is pretty cool. Another very, very useful um, very, very useful uh, widget is tweets. Now this widget is amazing. I absolutely love these widgets. Um, well this widget just because what it does is it finally has the gadget of Twitter um, usually Twitter gadgets they were kind of like hard to find but yes they finally have it um, so it's it's very very cool it shows you your your um, right here it has your basically everything like your home it has your mentions has your direct messages search and favorites I really honestly like this um, widget the best only because I use the most um, a few other widgets that I will point out is the clock widget which is very very nice and that's the other one that I was talking about that I sometimes use it's just that I don't have enough space to keep going and I don't really I can actually fit it right here but it just doesn't look as pleasing as I'd like it to um, another widget that I don't use but could be useful to you guys is the calendar um, and the currency one is also a lot of people use that if you're from if you like to check you know all right US dollars is one dollar let's say US dollars a hundred dollars then you have 77 uh, euros so it's quite interesting uh, the currency and the clock it's pretty cool I guess uh, you can change like whatever clock you want um, but I personally just don't like this I just don't use it but that's going to wrap up the video today. I know it's a kind of different video, um, but I figured that I had to do it just because Windows 8 just came out. I figured Windows 7, um, I, I'd like to get Windows 7 back in the role. I, not that it's out of role, I just bring it back in to talk. All right, guys, that's about it. I'm going to wrap up the video right here. Thank you guys very much. Have a nice day. Peace.